Legend has it that in ancient Greece, they used 500 mirrors to reflect sunlight onto enemy ships, focusing the beams to set the ships on fire. But does that really hold up to the laws of physics? To put this myth to the test, they gathered 500 students to act as Greek soldiers. But the real challenge? Getting all 500 mirrors to focus sunlight precisely on a single point. Adam started small, using just 12 people with mirrors to aim light at one spot. But because the sun is constantly moving across the sky, the reflected light kept shifting. Even by eye, you could see the beams were always in motion. As a result, the target board warmed up evenly, but not enough to catch fire. Then Adam had a breakthrough. He placed a grid in front of the mirrors, and just like that, the light became noticeably more stable. With this new setup, they ran the test again. This time, the beams easily hit the target, and the temperature at the focus point reached 150 degrees. With the small-scale test a success, it was time for the real deal. They lined up 500 soldiers along the shoreline. In a perfect scenario, every mirror would reflect sunlight onto the enemy ship's sail. The ignition point of the sail, 410 degree eyes. Jamie piloted the enemy ship and parked it 400 feet from shore. At Adam's signal, all 500 students aimed their mirrors at the sail. The resulting glare was so intense, it nearly blinded Jamie. After 15 minutes of concentrated sunlight, the sail's temperature reached only 200 degrees, enough to make Jamie feel the heat, but not enough to ignite the fabric. And in real battle, 15 minutes would be more than enough time for the enemy to approach. Jamie steered the ship closer, just 100 feet from shore. This was their final shot. Even at that short distance, with 500 beams of sunlight aimed squarely at the sail, it still didn't catch fire. The temperature maxed out at 230 degrees and refused to climb any higher. Unfortunately, the myth was busted. It seems Archimedes likely wasn't trying to burn enemy ships with sunlight. He was probably using the glare to blind and disorient the sailors instead.